Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. Stinger OS now active. Hello, agents. This is Jerobi, one of the developers of Night Team 4, here to show you around the uh, Alpha 0.2 we have of the Stinger OS, give you a little bit of background on what we're doing, and kind of explain uh, the whole process of uh, the development of Night Team 4. So this is the intro uh, video tutorial. We'll be doing a series of these video tutorials for each of the alphas, but also each of the specific modules within each alpha, basically explain to you what we're doing with the game, uh, where we're hoping to go, and how things are being done. You can see Katezilla behind me. She's working on the mission for the next alpha right now. Um, so as you know, we're the people behind uh, the Black Watchmen, and we're doing this alpha and beta in the same way that we did for the Black Watchmen, meaning that we're building it one step at a time. And so because we're doing that, we don't have the time to uh, build a tutorial for each new uh, module that we're doing, just because so much may change and we don't want to spend the time doing a tutorial for something we may end up throwing out. So instead, I'll be here showing you around each new phase that we develop, and as we develop each of these phases, we then have the building blocks to build out much more complex, intense, and immersive missions. So right now, we have the foundation, we have the, we're working on the back end, the API, the infrastructure for what t 19 4 will become. And we've built very basic, uh, very basic tools that you can interact with that infrastructure in simple missions. So if we log in here, Welcome, Agent. Uh, you can see the basic in interface that we've set up. Now this is going to uh, evolve over time. We're working on how it can become more immersive and set the mood better. Um, and this is uh, also where we're going to be building all of our different modules because we have in mind exactly what we want to do in terms of the dynamics we want to give you, the emotion we want to present in the game. We want you to really feel like you're part of an elite hacking unit that is able, it is conducting cyber warfare and able to infiltrate very, very secure places in unique and special ways. But we, we haven't quite figured out the mechanics to implement right now in order to best uh, give you that feeling. So that's why we're going to be doing all these alphas and, and exploring various things, working with your feedback to figure out how we can best deliver that to you. So here I'll just show you around really quickly. The If you go into the settings, you can see our, va our various skins. So this is the skeleton skin here, the 19.4 skin. Now we have the ghost skin and the elite skin. Both of those are available to our Kickstarter backers and uh, to people who pre-order. You can pre-order in the description below uh, for this video. So here's the ghost skin and here's the elite skin. These skins right now are really just a uh, change of color and background. That's not all we want to do with them. We really want to uh, build them out more, make them more exciting and engaging. And that might mean uh, adding additional highlights, changing the icons. Uh, we're really playing around with that. So that is another aspect that we're looking for your feedback on is not only how you feel about the mechanics, about the mission and all of that kind of stuff, but about the, the UI, the mood, the music you hear, all of that. So we're really looking forward to your feedback on all of that. We'll just go back to the regular 19.4 one here. Now the other thing that I want to talk about quickly is these workspaces over here. So we have six of them because we really want to be playing around with the idea of multitasking while you're performing your hacking. So I'm just going to bring out some hacking tools here. I'll explain what they are in other videos. Information gathering module initiated. Information gathering module initiated. Fox Acid server connection initiated. So I brought out three here. Uh, I'll explain what they are in, in very briefly in this video and then we'll go into more detail in another video. But the idea is these two here are information gathering tools. This one is a Fox Acid server uh, malware injection tool. And so let's say you have a target and you're trying to figure out what the best way to exploit that target is. It's not necessarily a linear process. You're not going from A to B to C. So what you might do on these two workspaces here is run tests 
and try and see if you can find, uh, if you can widen your attack service and you can find another place that might be vulnerable. And while you're running those, you could maybe test out a third option, see if you can exploit something right away on here. Now, if this one fails, you can jump back over here and see, see if you've gotten any results. And what's exciting about that is that kind of increases the scope of what you're doing at any one time because you know we want to give the f you the feeling that you are being able to really look in detail into your target and find unique ways of attacking them exploiting them that aren't necessarily apparent and what better way to do that than run multiple recon uh, tools against them at the same time so that's that's the idea there let's get into uh, these hacking uh, these hacking tools quickly once again we'll have additional videos covering each of them so if we jump in here you can see the first one that we have is information gathering now there are various tools in there that are all about doing recon trying to figure out exactly all the details of your targets so you can figure out how to best exploit them then you have vulnerability analysis that one is about once you know what you're dealing with with your target it's about prodding and and poking seeing what you can find within your target's exposed networks, figure out what is gonna be best to attack. Password attack is gonna run a series of dictionary attacks against a target's password, try to break through in various different ways. The Turbine C2 registry is something that we're gonna get into in far more detail in another video, but uh, C2 stands for command and control, and that's all about being able to control your target's network once you've already set up a back door, and you can do all sorts of fun things with that. The Fox Acid server. Now, the Fox Acid server is based on a real NSA uh, project called Fox Acid, which is a uh, malware and exploit injection tool that where once you have the specific parameters for your target, you can you can inject all sorts of malware using that tool. Um, and so you have to do a lot of recon first. You have to figure out where your where the vulnerabilities of the target are. And once you've done that, then you can inject that malware using Fox Acid. Keyscore Forensics is a really, really fascinating thing that once again, we'll get to in a, in a uh, different video. It's also an NSA tool, uh, also share, used by uh, the agencies of the Five Eyes. And what that is, is that is uh, an ability to basically monitor almost any uh, form of communication on online channels. And you can sift through that to try and find as much information as you can about your target. Uh, Truly a, a terrifying thing there, but absolutely fascinating and I'm sure it'll be very fun for you to use. So that's the basics there. Uh, in, in the additional videos in the series right now, we'll be going into what is involved in the information gathering tools and uh, a introduction to the Fox Acid server. We'll also look at the mission center, see how we're gonna be creating missions within this early alpha and what the missions are gonna look like from there. So you have links to all those videos uh, at the end of this, plus uh, a link to pre-order the game. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. We're really looking forward to getting all your feedback and uh, you, ha you becoming really part of this development process as we continue to build out 19.4. So thank you so, so much for watching and have a nice day. Closing route access, goodbye. You can find more 19.4 tutorials here like an intro to the Stinger OS, a look into mission structure in the Maltigo CE recon graphs, DNS and port scanning attacks, plus fingerprinting and the Fox Asset server. You can also pre-order the game by clicking on the bottom right hand of the screen.